I came across a federal court decision and I'm whipping through this and it's like anonymous torture, U.S. servicemen. I didn't quite realize at that point how bizarre the story would really be. My son was a pioneer in this activist group, Anonymous. He had been running the secret server and someone had dropped off a file. That's the day that everything changed. He's got some crazy information that they did not want out there. And I thought, we're dead. We decided to fight this together. Where can you go to protect yourself from the United States of America? Every step of the story is from some secret shadowy world. Mexico, Russia, Canada. We were surveilled the entire time. Is this just people being paranoid? Or is the system really out to get them? He could talk himself into any situation, good or bad. He can also talk himself out of any situation. He wants to portray himself as this whistleblower to make him the victim. They haven't looked at both sides of the story. He's detained at the border. That's a bombshell. Did they create a conspiracy rather than act in the best interest of their child? They don't have a single bit of evidence. Then we found the second victim. Truth does not matter. Something's fishy. This is an overreact. When I saw what was on the drives, it all made sense.